Starting in 1925, this land on Delaware Avenue in Sydney, New York, housed the premier military and aerospace component manufacturing facility in the world. The people of Sydney and the surrounding area occupied the factory on this land, and whether it was for Scintilla, Bendix, Allied, or Amphenol, were directly responsible for some of the greatest manufacturing achievements over the last 100 years. From building parts that flew with Charles Lindbergh on the Spirit of St. Louis, to propelling the Allied troops to victory in World War II, to launching our spaceships into orbit, this land and its people were the foundation of many of our greatest technological conquests. Unfortunately, there was one foe this land couldn't conquer, Mother Nature. Two historic floods severely damaged the land and by 2011 made it too vulnerable to continue manufacturing operations there. Instead of pulling up stakes and moving out of Sydney, Amphenol decided to build the gold standard in connector manufacturing facilities one mile away to continue utilizing the most experienced and knowledgeable connector manufacturing workforce in the world. What became of that land? Well, while you can't beat Mother Nature, you can undoubtedly join her. And that's what Amphenol did by building the largest on-site corporate solar project in New York State and one of the largest on-site solar installations in the entire United States. The installation covers nearly 23 acres and utilizes over 18,000 solar modules to produce an estimated 7,500 megawatt hours of power per year. In addition, Amphenol's parts were used in many electrical components, including the inverters that convert the solar DC electricity to AC current. The power generated by the solar farm provides the grid with the energy equivalent of 800 homes annually, promoting the stability of the region's electrical supply and, in turn, Amphenol's manufacturing operations. This valuable land in Sydney, New York, while no longer the center of manufacturing operations, continues to provide for Amphenol and the people of this area. It will do so for many years to come.